going on guys? Forrest here, Cichlid Man 09, hanging out with Hunter. Uh, he's here because he's actually a part of this Cichlid Man 09 asks. Happy Monday, happy Christmas week, Merry Christmas to everybody who celebrates Christmas. Um, not sure if I'm going to get a video up on Wednesday or not. I think I might anyways just to give you guys some uh, Christmas video, whatever. But uh, early Merry Christmas for you guys. If you're watching this on Christmas, Merry Christmas, whatever. Happy December 23rd. It's a Monday. So it's Cichlid Man on I Asks time, and it's actually, uh, I actually missed last week's Cichlid Man on I Asks, and up helping a buddy move, uh, but, uh, you know, kind of missed my opportunity to get a video up. So we skipped last week, so I definitely owe you guys a video this week. I don't care if it's Christmas week or not. You guys are getting a video. And if you didn't see last, I believe Thursday, last Thursday, we got a video up, and this guy right here decided to... Um, put everything he possibly could find in my fish tank, including rubber bands. He had a couple of his, like, I don't know what they were, they're like little bowling pin toys and whatnot. And uh, that spurred my idea, and uh, got me thinking of what's the strangest thing I've put into a fish tank, and uh, figured we'd do a Cichlid Man on nine ass on it. He's the inspiration for that, because he was putting some weird stuff in there. Luckily, nothing that could actually harm my fish. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. You guys need to go check it out. It's called One Year Old Decorates Aquarium or something. Um, you know, it was a fun time. As a matter of fact, yesterday he decided, you didn't see him sick with man on ass. I had a monkey hat. It's around here some way. Uh, he's in here yesterday, and of course, I don't pay attention for two seconds, and I come in here, and there's just a bunch of stuff, including this hat, just all strewn about in the fish tank. Need to get a lid for the tank. Need to make one. But uh, that's besides the point. So, our sick with man on ass question for you guys is what's the strangest thing you put in your aquarium? Uh, it could be something, you know, that your children put in there, you know, on accident, whatnot. Whatever's ended up in your aquarium, you know, for me, there's a few things that I've purposely put in aquariums that probably shouldn't have been in aquariums. There's a couple things I'll tell you guys about in a second. But, um, you know, that's the question for today. What is the strangest thing that has ended up in your aquarium? And it may be an animal. Who knows? Uh, but that's our question. For me, back when I first started, way, way, way back, not way, way, way back, because it's not hasn't been that long. I haven't been doing this for a crazy long time, by the way. Um, about four years now. Um, so, a little bit of time. Um, yeah, that way. Um, back when I first started, I think I had a 20-gallon long to first start out. My buddy let me use it and whatnot. And uh, I had this uh, turtle shell. I believe it was a red-eared slider turtle shell. And it was coated and whatnot. And so that went in the aquarium because I thought it looked cool. Kind of could make a little cave and whatnot. Pretty sure something like that does not belong in an aquarium. Um, be that from the sealer, whatever part. I, I know that it started getting soggy somehow. Um, did not belong in an aquarium at all. Luckily, uh, I learned that quickly and I uh, took it out of there. But uh, probably that's the, the strangest on purpose thing that I put in the aquarium. I believe I had like a deer antler or something and that went in there for a while too. Uh, luckily, that tank didn't stay very long, and I got early years in fish keeping. Uh, things change quickly and change frequently, so luckily things, you know, shifted and changed. Luckily, I'm in a I'm in a stage right now where everything is calming and relaxing and soothing and steady. But uh, back then, things changed a lot. But I put a deer antler, a turtle shell. This guy right here put about 20 rubber bands. Uh, he put a wool hat. Um, both of my slippers um, were floating in the fish tank after I did that video. Not, I don't know, not two minutes after that I did that video because I took it really quick and I just went to go download it because I just grabbed the camera, downloaded the video. Not two minutes after that I come in here because I, back in my mind I was like, ah, oh, I'm not paying attention. I come in here, both my slippers are floating on top of the aquarium um, and uh, perfectly placed by the way. They, they weren't sinking, they were they were nice placed on top, but uh, you know, that definitely spurred on the question on, you know, what's the strangest thing that's ended up in your aquarium? Um, because being tanks full of water that we have the choice to decorate, you know, stuff ends up in there that may not necessarily need to be in there. So this may be a mistake you made early in fish keeping, something that may be in your tanks now that's peculiar, weird, that works, something you love that's in your aquarium, whatnot. What is the strangest thing? What's the most peculiar thing in your fish tanks? Um, like I said, maybe something that a child put in there, not saying any names, Hunter, but um, that's you. But, um, you know, just let me know uh, down in the comments below. That's how this series works. If you don't know, 
If there's comments down below, type in, write in, whatever, your strangest thing that's ever been in the aquarium. Thanks to everybody who has subscribed to my channel. Uh, recently at 1,600 subscribers. Awesome. Um, we're hitting subscribers quickly, so it almost feels redundant. Somebody's bored to keep mentioning them off, so I'll probably stop talking about how many subs we get because it probably gets old. Um, but, you know, honestly, I, I, I say it because it, it excites me. You know, no matter how many subs I've gotten, and I think we're at 16, 14, whatever, um, every time I get one, it still excites me and it pushes me to try and, you know, make videos like this that you guys uh, tend to like. Um, but uh, again, thanks to everybody. Merry Christmas. If I don't get a video up on Wednesday, I think I'll put something short up for you guys anyways. But, uh, you know, Merry Christmas to everybody who celebrates. I know a lot of people don't celebrate, so if you don't celebrate, whatever you're doing this time of year, have fun doing it. Love your life. Love your hobby. Um, you know, spend time with family. Do whatever you do. But um, strangest thing ever in an aquarium that you've owned. And uh, that's about it I have for you guys. Check all the links in the description below. I think there's going to be, a, there'll, there'll definitely be a link down there to this guy down here who's uh, doing whatever. He'll probably bite me here in a second. But um, link in the description of this kid decorating his first aquarium with rubber bands and uh, plush bowling pin toys, whatever he could find. Um, Hulk back here has been hanging out, loving life. Southern Delight, aquatic support systems, Hydra forums, check them all out. Bunch of links in the description below. Go like me on Facebook, Cichlid Man 9 Post little videos. I posted a little video yesterday with the green tears. Basically, just gonna put little clips in there. Uh, I took some pictures the other night. I'll post my pictures on there. Basically, kind of keep you guys up to date what's going on with my fish room. If you care, I mean, it's really it's not a big deal if you if you don't care. I'm, I'm not gonna hold that against you because not sure. Not sure what's more weird, liking what I do in between my videos or not. I, I'm not sure, which is whatever. Go like the Facebook page, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Again, Merry Christmas. You want to say Merry Christmas? Come here, bud. What's that? What's that thing? Say bye, YouTube. Merry Christmas. High five for Christmas.